Hey, it's Jen. I'm here with my November and December reading plans. Uh, right now, I'm working on um, Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. I'm listening to it in audiobook, in audiobook format. I also have a physical book. However, I left it at work, so I couldn't include it in this video. Um, cover appearing here. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm only about five chapters in, but so far it's actually a lot of fun. It's kind of like a more modern Sherlock Holmes, I guess. Um, I have, haven't read any of hers before, however I did enjoy some of the movies that were based on her books, some of the old ones, um, for instance, and then there were, and then there was one. I own that book as well, but I have not read it yet. I hope to get to it. Other books I am working on, I am reading Mark Twain's Complete Short Stories. Um, I don't know when I'm going to finish that book. I've been working on that one for a couple months now, and I am 200 pages into an 860-something page book, so I don't anticipate finishing it before the new year, and yet part of me is like, wouldn't it be awesome to finish that before the new year and just finally be able to say, hey, I've read all of Mark Twain's short stories, it would be great. It probably isn't going to happen. The next thing I can't wait to read, this is my fun read, this is gonna be my fun read, ready? Artemis! Artemis! I loved The Martian. I loved it. I finished The Martian and I immediately wanted to start back at the beginning and read it again. Um, he makes characters. Andy Weir makes characters that I wish were my friends. It's people that I would love to hang out with and I'm really hoping that Artemis makes me some more book friends because I need some more character make-believe book friends. And so I cannot wait to read Artemis. Next one I hope to read, We Were Liars. This gets recommended so much and it's such a short book. Um, I have a feeling it's not a fun read though and I'm really wanting a fun read. So hopefully Artemis is my fun read, we can hope, right? Um, but We Were Liars is at least gonna be my short read. So I'm hoping that that will be a lot of fun. Or at least insightful if it's not fun, one or the other. This is the book I'm reading with my kid. Um, we are 55 pages in. Um, it's taking them forever to get into this chicken farm um, because my six-year-old doesn't read very fast. My six-year-old doesn't read very fast um, and I'm making her read it. So we will probably finish this. I hope we will get to book three so that we can finally get to book four about the zombie kittens because zombie kittens, duh. The next book I hope to read is The Birch Bark House. I have meant to get to this series for a while, um, and then I saw that I hadn't checked out recently at the library, and I'm like, ah, I better check it out, otherwise it's gonna turn up on my weed list and I don't want that to happen. Um, this is considered to be sort of like the um, Native American version of Little House on the Prairie. And so I'd really love to read this. I read the original, um, I read The Little House on the Prairie, Little House in the Big Woods, all those books when I was a, um, a tween, I guess. And I loved them then. I'm not sure if I would love them now. So I would really like to hear kind of the other side, the other perspective. Um, so hoping to get into this one, especially since um, McCoon's, which I believe is book four or five, uh, came out recently last year, <laughs> so not that recently. Uh, so I'm hoping to start making a dent in this series. The other one I hear about a lot is this Rooftoppers by Catherine Rundell, I think is how you say her name. So I saw it come over, come through the return desk at the library and I'm like, you know what, it's time. Let's just do this one and finally know what the fuss is about because I've had this recommended to me a few times. So now it's time, it's time. I'm trying to get a little bit more cultured Right? I do read a lot of nonfiction, but I was reviewing my books from 2017 and I haven't read any poetry yet. I mean, zero poetry has been read this year. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? We need a poetry book. And I thought that this book was a lot smaller than it actually is. I picked up The Sun and Her Flowers. Now, it's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. But of course, it's poetry, so there's not so many words per page as if it was a novel. So I am going to read this before 2017 is up so that I have read some poetry this year. Because, come on, you need to read at least some poetry in a year. You can't go a whole year without poetry, so 
this is the book. I really hope I like it. I will say that I did thumb through it a little bit and I found like two right away that jumped out at me that I liked. So hopefully those aren't the only two. Hopefully I like more than that. This one, this one. I recently finished Hidden Life of Trees and I just thought that was great. I really liked that book a lot. Um, it did like a tiny smidge in the middle like all nonfiction tends to do for me where I'm like, eh, I'm done with this. And then you get to the last like three chapters and you're like, oh, it's good again. But you know, there's that middle where it's like, is this ever going to be over? So I think that this, I'm, all nonfiction is like that for me. So. If, if this guy happens to ever see my review, don't take it personally. That's how all nonfiction is for me. However, I had to pick this up because I loved the tree book enough where I was like, you know what, I need Inner Life of Animals as well. I, I'm thinking it probably can't be as good as the tree book simply because this guy worked in forestry. Um, so I'm not sure where the background with animals is going to come in. But his writing style was really nice. I really liked his writing style, so hopefully I will like it in this book as well. More than likely. That is all I am committing myself to for the rest of November and December. Um, simply because I'm going to stumble on more books I want to read, and so that's all I'm locking myself into. Uh, I will definitely read more than that, but that is all I'm committed to, is what you saw right now. If you enjoyed this video, yay! If you didn't enjoy this video, I'm sorry. See you next time.